Hello, my name is Anjani Segrist, and today's video is going to be about the basic setup of an astrology reading. So what we do is look at this chart like a map of the sky. And here is the Earth. We're using this as you from the Earth's perspective. And then this is a map of where all the planets were at the moment you were born. So you can superimpose that above you and sort of imagine that this is where everybody was seated in the cosmic table. And the storyline goes from what your lineage is, your ancestry, your um, karmic addictions and patterns, something that describes what you were innately a master of. Just by being born, we all have some sort of skill set. Anybody who's had kids knows that each of the children will come out when they start to display personality, having their own personality, which is completely unique to them and hasn't been learned. It's just something that's innate. From looking at the lineage, we next move into the rising sign. What is the new emerging um, form of the god or the goddess that is coming through? The new way that, I actually will talk about this a lot of times, like um, going to a new school, you know, something that you signed up to learn about and, um, you know, what is your destiny or what is your life purpose or what is it that you're here to really learn about? From there, we go into your inner feminine and inner masculine. And this section alone um, with, I call this relationship material, this section alone can be worked in so many different ways and um, there's actually a reading that is only on your relationship to your inner feminine and inner masculine so that we go into that material and from there we go up into your contribution to the world um, the contribution to the world can be found by looking at the midheaven and planets that are near or around and aspects to that and then we look at the home and roots, or what I call the nest you emerge from, seeing what is your most suitable or comfortable, um, I think they usually will call it, it's called home and roots, but I call it the nest you emerge from, because some people say if there's Aquarius or Gemini, don't necessarily relate to the word home. So from there, we look at um, the vehicle for moving from the lineage over to the new school. So looking at ways to get into your, your new emerging school. All of that, what I've mentioned, is on a first reading. The first reading, I call it an intentions, life intentions reading. Sort of, I think I also call it a four corners reading. So looking at the four corners, what are the main intentions of... Um, of this person astrologically and then the next reading covers conjunctions squares trines these are aspects and this is giving us a clue about strategies for meeting the life intentions or um, something that I find really useful for the aspects is if you have certain questions that things that you know perplexing to you um, using those aspects uh, is really helpful for that. So that, again, can be used in so many different ways. Then the third reading is timings, where we see what is happening astrologically right now. So this outer ring is right now in the sky. And see how that hits um, different things on your natal chart. So we're always in a cycle within a bigger cycle. So looking at, um, that, I call that a timings reading. We can also use timings um, just to see what's up for you. That's the main reason people like to get a timings reading. Something that I find very useful is going back in time to certain events that happen that um, the first thing that's coming up is like traumatic events, 
um, you know, things that were life changing, either for good or bad, you know, we call it good or bad, but it's like something that shifted your perspective of life or changed your life, um, deaths, breakups, divorces, buying a new home, getting a new job, moving to another country, um, those time marks in the history of you, um, sometimes we can look at the chart and see what cycle or phase you were in and work on the energy of what was happening in that past moment in time that will help you to integrate the emotional content, um, triggers that you might have currently in your life, sometimes touching into that through astrology and um, some of the questions that I ask and some of the things that, that are brought up during that timings reading can be extremely healing, um, putting pieces back together in your psyche and your understanding. And there's a lot of rituals and embodiment techniques that I like to offer for um, putting those pieces back together and things naturally are able to dissolve, digest, release. And it's really, really helpful for humans in bodies to digest the material of their past experiences. So that's a basic uh, breakdown of the readings that I offer. Um, so I mentioned the Four Corners reading, the Strategies reading, the Timings reading, and then the Venus-Mars relationship material, which I think that is called Venus-Mars Integration reading. I also offer uh, a mini reading which is um, covers only lineage and new school material. So what you've already mastered, what you're here to learn about. Um, and I think that's all. So thank you so much for watching the video. I'll attach some links so you know where to click if you want to order a reading. And I look forward to connecting with you soon.